We got a lot going on in today's episode. Lamborghini pumps up the Aventador with a Super Veloce edition. Bentley's new concept sports car. Aston Martin shows us what they plan for the future. And the GTA Spano breaks cover. Plus, all the facts are out for the Honda Civic Type R. Koenigsegg wants to melt your face. And it's hump day. So we'll get friendly. Let's advance for a Friends Day Wednesday. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D, and you are watching Fast Lane Daily. As you may or may not know, the Geneva Motor Show is popping off this week. So that means a bunch of reveals, so today's episode is going to be heavy on the Geneva, right? So yeah, we've talked a lot about the Civic Type R, but here are all the awesome details. First, the Type R will use a turbocharged two-liter four-cylinder to make not 280, like we said before, but 310 horsepower. Whoa, that's a 30 horsepower difference. Significant. And it has 295 pound-feet of torque. That's right. That will make the front wheels turn, and it is uh, held in check by a dual-axis strut suspension system that takes care of torque steer, well, at least 50% of it. 0 to 60 goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0.7 seconds, and it tops out at 167 miles per hour. Not bad for a hatchback. Now, for all of us United States folks, we don't know if the Type R is coming to the U.S., but in the meantime, you can uh, type R as many times as you want on your keyboard. If that makes you feel any better, just type away. Yeah. There you go. The 2015 GTA Spano was in Geneva as well with its twin turbo 8 liter V10 engine making 925 horsepower and 900 pound feet of torque. That's right, Erica. Geez, supercars are just ridiculous these days, but we're so used to it, these crazy numbers. And we just like, uh, we say it like it's nothing. Yeah. Crazy. Zero goes AO60 with the deal, son, in 2.9 seconds, thanks to a seven speed sequential gearbox. Oh, and it supposedly tops out at 230 miles per hour, but I'll be the judge of that when I drive it never. It's a groovy tune in this video, though. Oh, yeah. Got the piano in there. The Koenigsegg Regera, folks, that's it right there. Yes, it's a plug-in hybrid with 1,100 horsepower from a 5-liter twin-turbo V8 and a couple electric motors, which are rocking a total of 700 horsepower. Whoa, now with their powers combined, it's good for 1,500 horsepower, making the Regera the, quote, fastest accelerating, most powerful production car ever. End quote. That is according to Koenigsegg. Okay, not official, but that's what Koenigsegg says. Also has KDD. You know what that is? Koenigsegg Direct Drive, which is a single final drive gear. So no six, seven, eight, nine gears. It's, so it's directly driven to the rear axle from the combustion engine. Pretty crazy. It's great. It's great. It could also run on just electric and be all quiet like, but at the same time, pretty much beast any electric vehicle out there. Zero to 60 faster than you could say, whoa, in 2.8 seconds. Well, whoa. 250 miles per hour. 250 miles per hour in under 20 seconds. 250 miles per hour in under 20 seconds. It's crazy. And only 80 of them will be built and it will cost a gazillion dollars. Actually, we're no, we have no clue how much it will cost, but I don't think I'm far off. Yeah. That's a probably pretty close. So yeah, that thing's insane. The Koenigsegg Regera, there it is. All right, in addition to that nutso Vulcan supercar, Aston Martin brought a new concept vehicle called the DBX. It's to show what the future of Grand Touring Aston Martins could look like. Big wheels, larger ride height, and all large mouth Bast Martin looking <laughs> grill. Yeah, because that grill's huge, Just big mouth. Styling is totally Aston Martin though, but the rest of the car is pretty new and different, including four seats, electric motors at each wheel, and a KERS system. For those of you who don't know what that is, kinetic energy recovery system. It involves in the braking and it saves the energy and reuses it. Get what I'm saying? Why did I double gun you? I don't know. 
Aston confirms some future production model will take inspiration from the DBX. Just as I took inspiration from DNX for this stand-up bit. Open the door! What? Come on! Woo! Nice. Same kind of deal. Whoa, Bentley. Look at you and your new sports car concept, the EXP 10 Speed 6. Yeah, it's a real 10 speeder, as they say. A two seater sports car that would theoretically sit below the Continental GT. The styling front to back and inside, wait, the styling front and back and inside is pretty revolutionary and different from Bentley. But it's, uh, it's sex appeal, I'll tell you. It's up there. Hope they make it. What's powering it? Well, we don't know. But I'll bet you a production version would use Bentley's twin turbo V8, which is just like FLD because we run on V8. V8 all natural 100% vegetable juice to give you the vitamins you need to get through your day. Just think, you could have had a V8. I mean, can you blame us for trying? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to tweet that to V8. Absolutely. And last but not least, the Lamborghini Aventador. LP 750-4 SV, which the SV means super veloce. Like other uh, Lambo SVs, not SUVs, I almost said. Like other Lambo SVs before it, the 750-4 cuts weight by 110 pounds this time. Pretty good. Adds about 50 horses and tacks on aerodynamic upgrades. That adds up to a 217 miles per hour top speed, zero flowing up to 60 in just 2.8 seconds. That's very fast. It's as fast as the Regera. Hmm. Yeah. And about a half a million dollar price tag. Yippee, gang. That's just cheap. Yeah. Well, I'll get one. You gonna get one? Sure. Let's all buy one. Who cares? So cheap. But now, it's time to hang out with some FOD fans. What is it, AK? It's Friends Day Wednesday. Nice. First up, we have FOD fan Alexei Kochemasov. Yep, that's how I said it. Who spotted this <laughs> ultra rare, this is rare, Max, Range Rover Honda Accord. Or maybe it's a Range Honda Rover, but either way, I mean, I've never seen one. No, have I. And that one was caught in uh, California, apparently. Yeah. It's amazing. Next is Adam Saif, who saw this Bentley Continental 300. But then it must be real because another FLD fan, Hershey Sable, saw another Bentley 300. Fail. It's a Chrysler, guys. It's a Chrysler 300. Be proud of what you drive. Stop pretending to be someone else. Right? Be yourself. Stop making your car trying to be some, a Bentley. It's a Chrysler 300. Next is FLD fan Eugene Hao He Seong, who said he saw our special on the Hyundai Genesis. Remember when I went out there and... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, and he said, quote, was wondering if I could get that die-cast model from you guys. You see that black one right over there? So, uh, short, simple answer, no. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Last, we have FLD fan Rex Ruger, who likes dog sledding and dressing like a pirate and chugging rum. So hey, Rex, go easy there on the rum. He posted this video on our Facebook page of a guy trying to break into a Mercedes with a brick. He tries on the driver's side, mm, doesn't work. Shatters a little, the, the, you could see the window breaks a little bit, but it doesn't shatter. He then comes back and tries the passenger side and uh, the Mercedes fights back, bouncing the brick directly back into his face. Watch that all day and there it is again. One more time to the grill, bam, there you go. He goes down. Moral of the story, don't steal cars, right? The owner of the Mercedes actually came back and uh, saw the guy lying there, and then they called the cops. So not only did his face get destroyed, he also got arrested. So yeah, don't steal cars. And friends, thank you for all the posts. We do appreciate it, all right? Our FLD question of the day is nice and easy. Should Honda bring the new Civic Type R to the USA? I say very Yes. <laughs> I mean, look-wise, personally, I'd take the, the new Focus ST over the Type R. The Type R looks very, like, anime-ish to me. Just, I don't know. But it should definitely come here. I do agree with that. So uh, let us know what you guys think using hashtag FLDQ of the D. And you can send your own in to... Tips at FastLaneDaily.com. Thank you, AK. And that 
is going to do it for Fastlane Daily today. I'm Derek D for Erica, AK, Max, Tom, Omar, Miles, and the rest of the FLD team. Thank you for watching, everybody, and we will talk to you tomorrow. You bring that home every night after the show. Bring it back in, put it yeah, there. Yeah, put it in his lockbox. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! Right into the water. Oh, drink, drink, I didn't want to draw. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.